Where are they? Where are my little babies that I've designed? G'day mates and welcome to the demo of Arms Trade Tycoon. That's right, we're gonna become the Merchant of Death. I forgot to say tanks underneath that. So if you haven't already guessed, our job is to sell vehicles in the arms trade. In this case, we're doing tanks. I presume that means maybe they'll make others at some point, but hey, this is just the demo for the tanks one. Those are some interesting periods to pick. I like how we go from Abrams all the way back to Great Britain with the, uh, got the Mark IV? Fives? Those are the Marks Oh God, hang on, no, what's... What one is this? It's the Mark something. Here we go. Welcome to the demo. This is a very early version of the game that should be seen as the core gameplay loop only. Much is subject to change. Okay. We shall be Lord Treadsworth and our company, the Horny Horses. Excellent. Oh, apparently my father disappeared and now I've taken control of all of his assets. There is a lot going on here. We have the time, the speed, the world, rivals, tasks, money, and all sorts of resources up the top. I think that's how many tanks we've built. I guess it's like prestige. All right, let's get into this. Okay, I've done the tutorial because it was very handholdy and therefore really boring to actually narrate over. I was like, when I mean very handholdy, I literally couldn't click on things. So uh, what I'm going to go through now is go through all the little bits and pieces. There's a lot that's not available in the demo, but the core gameplay loop is there. So here we have the research. Tanks are made up of uh, sorry, three things with two parts each. So structure, mobility, firepower, which... The structure's armor, basically. So from here, we can do research on different structures. For instance, here we go. We've got the Mark I and the Whippet. And then I, I imagine we can't go too high. Yeah, there's... Ooh, the Medium Hornet. Ooh. There's components and modifications, which we'll go into in a moment. And then obviously over here, we've got more research as well. I'm going to research improved track pins. Here we go. So we'll set that research up. And uh, those guys are going to spend eight days researching there. After research, we move on to engineering. We go into here. And then we pick a component. And from there, we can modify it. So for instance, we can add an escape hatch to the top. And there you go. Now there's actually an escape hatch. I quite like that, you see? Get a little one up there. We could add, there we go, a tail wheel to the rear. Uh, nothing really to add there, nothing to add there. And there we go, add a bull mount to the front. I wonder, does that actually... Let me try and zoom in here. I wonder if that... Okay, I don't think that actually changes anything. Because I don't think there's actually a gun there yet. Chicken wire on the top, which would make it really annoying to use this escape hatch now that I'm thinking about it. All of these add different modifiers. For instance, hull top angle, uh, hull top width there. That's what the, uh, what's called chicken wire adds. But it also negatively affects stealth. The escape hatch over here, for instance, it has a hull top width that gets reduced because you put the hatch on. But the crew awareness increases, the crew comfort increases, and the crew safety increases. We can actually edit the Lewis gun as well. I like this. You can really get down to, like, the brass tacks. And, uh... Oh, hang was that? I thought it was a bayonet for a moment. I was quite concerned. But you can put different stocks on it. Uh, there you go. Different belt. Oh, you can get belt. Stripper clip holder. Disgusting. Joined clips. High capacity pan mag. That's the way to go. You get an amplified telescopic sight. But once you are done there, you then move on to design. We put down the hull, and you'll notice we don't actually know anything about the tank. We won't know anything about the tank until we do trials. We'll put some centipede running gears on it. There we go. We'll put an engine inside. We'll put a Lewis gun on the front. Here you can see, Lewis gun pops in. Some sponsons on the side. Stick some guns in those. There you go. Look at that. Well, we've got a tank here. We then give it crewman. We're going to give it a commander. Oh, hang on. Come on. No, if I can click the button. A commander. We'll give it a driver. We'll give it a whole bunch of gunners. There we go. We'll give it a loader. And then we'll give it two mechanics. If you look at the crew, you can see the different things. We've got enough commanders. We've got enough drivers. We've got too many gunners, actually, but that could be a good thing in the event the gunners are hit. Too many mechanics and enough loaders. Up here is the maximum mass that we can set the tank at, and obviously you want that to be lighter because the running gear will collapse and fail otherwise. German tankers, take note. We can give the crew different gear. This is apparently a fire extinguisher, and I have no idea what the hell that actually is. It looks more like a trumpet. Uh, but you can give them bandolier, you can give them coveralls, you can give them face masks, you can give them revolvers and carbines. And then, of course, we can choose different ammo. So there's some shells and some solid steel. Nice. Okay. We're, uh, we're fully armed. It's a good tank. And we could start it, but that's just the same tank I just built. So let's not do that. Instead, since we don't actually have a buyer yet, let's take my tester tanker out on trials. It's going to cost us some money and take a few days. But yeah, let's, uh, let's try it out. So there's the stats of all of our tank now that we've done the trials. The William Foster Company has been established. Okay, so they're gonna be a rival, I presume. Yep, here we go. Ah, nice to see that we can sabotage them later, I assume. Sabotage from other companies is possible as well once you start producing your tanks. Here's our assembly line. So we go, you know, create a new tank. 
and would create a certain number of them, and there's a chance that some of them won't actually get finished because of sabotage. These are currently the countries that will buy tanks. We've got down here Argentina and Brazil, the USA and Canada, we've got the Republic of China and Japan, we've got Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria, wait, that's Bulgaria, yes. I, oh no, I think it is, yes. I swear, I'm trying to remember my Hoi4 knowledge. Austro-Hungary, uh, we've got Italy, we've got Germany, we've got Sweden, we've got Russia, we've got France, we've got Spain, Portugal, and of course the UK. Currently, they have no idea what they want to do with tanks, and the concept of a tank is no idea right now. Excellent. Glad to see that Britain's really figured themselves out. Oh shit, sabotage just succeeded. Oh, they blew up one of our tanks, what? Finally, the tank corps is formed. I don't know why that was formed in 1914. I don't think that's exactly correct. Maybe it is and I'm just misremembering history, but I'm pretty sure that the tank corps wasn't formed until a good bit later. Okay, so the heavy infantry support concept has been adopted. We've got some insiders who told us that there's gonna be a weight limitation and general tank characteristics will be required. So it needs firepower soft, it needs to be mobile, needs to have protection, okay. But it also needs to be less than 28,000 uh, kilos, right. So we're not gonna know all of what's required, but there is an upcoming tank trial and we can try and get in on an experimental contract. Okay, the contract's here. I've only got 21 days before it expires. And unfortunately, I've still got five days stuck in research there. Let's see what the contract exactly needs. Okay, so here we go. It doesn't require any hard firepower. It requires at least 94 mobility. So we're gonna need a good bit there. Uh, some good firepower. Some good protection. Oh, mine's really just not... This This test tanker is not living up to what they need. Into design, here we go. The Mark 1. Okay, that's fine. Put the running gear on the side. Put the cylinder engine on. Put the Lewis gun in the front. Nice. Then we put the female on the side, and we put Lewis guns in both. There we go. Okay, yeah. One driver, one commander, three gunners, two mechanics. I think that should do us. Of course, we will take pistols, we will take rifles, and we're also going to take a, uh, here we go, an infantry bandolier so they get to shoot more. Given that we are British, we shall name this the Ratty Tatty. Sorry, Mark 1. <laughs> 12 days to research. Oh, there's only 14. Okay, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to offer the tester tanker and just hope that I get another contract later. Have the tester tanker, I'm sorry. Oh, the, the tester tanker was accepted. That was terrible. Incredible. A new tank regiment is called Company A. Okay. Four sections with several tanks each. So the tank company is now asking for a specific tank. It needs to have good trench tr uh, trench crossing, equipped with machine guns, and yield protection. I think my tank should pretty much cover that already. The Ratty Taddy sounds perfect for that, right? My god, the Ratty Taddy might be amazing for that. The highest they can be is 55. I'm gonna offer to make 22 tanks. And I am going to charge top dollar for these. There we go. Make a lot of money. There you go. 57. Offer up the tank. Yes! Okay, the Ratty Taddy has been taken. 22 Ratty Taddies done by the 7th. Oh god, what month is it? It's June 17th. Oh, fuck. We are currently bleeding money because I'm yet to sell any bloody tanks. And I need to desperately build more of them. Come on, more tanks, more tanks. Go, go, go. The Germans are asking if they can pay us for the secrets of how tanks work. Absolutely. I am broke as hell. Give me that money. I'm a capitalist, son. I work for the highest bidder. Ah, the deadline is in seven days. Oh my god, get there by train. I think we will just make the first deadline. We're not going to make the rest of it, but you know. All right, company B. Oh, I am bankrupt. <laughs> Damn it! All right, we're now my son, Lord Wheelsworth. After my father's sudden disappearance, I wonder why that happened. Oh, you can just skip the tutorial if you close the box at any point. That's brilliant. God, I wish it told me that because I would have done that. Oh man, all right. Okay, so this time around, we now have the Whippet unlocked as well, but I've also rushed the Mark V, which we're going to use. All right, let's design our tank. So the Mark V, God, it's beautiful. Look at that semaphone on top. Uh, we're going to call this, of course, the Ratty Taddy Mark II. Of course, I found my father's old designs of the Mark 1. A uh, few more turrets on the side. We'll put another Lewis machine gun at the back. Mm, Lewis machine gun in the back. Lewis machine gun in the side. Lewis machine gun in the side. This thing is just a death ball of machine guns. I love it. The Ratty Taddy Mark 2. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no. I must have a turret for this part. I can't just not include it. I desperately need a top turret somehow. Where do I find that? The rear cab, I think. Okay, rear cab. Go. It's going to take one day to design this. Awesome. Just do that. Easy. 
Okay, now I'll go to the design. There we go, with the rear cab, this actually works. Okay. Now, the Ratty Taddy Mark II comes to the forefront. Yes, okay, the prototype has won. Here we go, Company A is asking for a supply contract. All right, let's go in, Company A. 55 is again the highest, Owls goes for 75, all right. So it's a good damn tank. Shit. I actually cannot make this offer because they're asking for a lighter tank. But the concept is my tank. And it was 28. Oh, you bastards. We're going, fuck big tanks, we're making a cavalry tank. Excellent. It is literally just a square of guns. God, do I love it. Company A is actually being deployed to the Western Front. They're not with our tanks, I don't think. Oh, oh, hello. There's a whole little battle screen here. What is this? Oh, I see. Here we go. So it's got like the different equipment they've got, the mines, the uh, anti-tank guns. What about these guys? Nothing yet. Different stuff. Here we go. Here's the tanks as well. Tank model being used by this regiment. These guys using the Mark Aquiles. Ah, yes, excellent. Oh, the Battle of Mons. It looks like we lost. Does anything change? Oh, hello. That's all right. That's pretty interesting. There's Company A and B. Oh, and there's a little tank battle. Can I click it? Is... Oh, here we go. There was a tie. Okay. So we lost one British tank and they lost zero German. Very interesting. Not actually my... Uh... Here we go. So to see the battle outcome, I actually have to have a tank of mine involved. God damn it. Imagine if we end up losing the Western Front because I'm just shit at building tanks. I am bankrupt! Why does this game hate me? Why does this game hate me? Why does this game hate me? We are... Lord, please. Horny horses. There we go. Just buy my tanks, please. We will not be creative. We will make the most basic tanks possible. There is no creativity allowed in this factory. We will be as basic as possible and create a good tank that the British will want to buy. Okay, the basic bitch is being designed. There we go. You are going to be my tank that will make me money. Please make me money. The fire. Okay, okay, all right. Immediately, the design building caught on fire. Excellent, okay. Then we're going to make another one. Here we go. Yes, machine guns. Nice. This is going to be the female basic bitch. And just to really confuse everyone, it's going to be called the basic stud. Basic infantry support. There is the basic stud. Enjoy. The basic stud was accepted. Huzzah. And the heavy assault tank. Okay, now we're going to offer up the basic bitch. Here we go. Heavy assault tank. Wow, wouldn't it be crazy if I had... Wait, hang on a second. The basic stud somehow qualifies better for the heavy assault tank. I guess because it's asking for 110 firepower. I mean, it, it says it's it's better, so uh, yeah, um, sure. <laughs> Would you also like the stud to assault? Okay, we're not gonna touch anything else, so we can deliver 16 basic studs by the 14th. Okay, wait, the stud won the heavy assault tank as well? <laughs> okay, all right, so apparently that's also an assault tank now. And yes, they will take 16 basic studs. Okay, great. So now we go to here. We go to tank storage. And we're going to send them some of their tanks. We've got 30 days to send them. All right. I'm not going to get all the tanks there in time, but I'm going to get some of them there in time at least. This game, I'm going to keep it real, seems incredibly harsh. Like, I was almost expected to mass produce my tanks before I even knew if they were going to be accepted. Like, goddamn. This game really kind of fucking it does not give you any leeway. But all right, let's let's see. Three basic studs. There we go. We can't even ship them because we're not allowed to ship anymore, even if we're a day late. It, that's the main thing. The contracts seem way too fast. Like, n never in the real world would they be like, hey, by the way, we need a tank. Uh, we need like an entire regiment's tank. Yeah, you got 30 days. Good luck, brother. Eight tanks delivered. There we go. All right. So we're going to miss out on five because I'm just not even allowed to deliver those, I don't think. So let's see. We made $163,000 and we got a fine of $75,000 for failing to deliver five of them. <sighs> Aha, Company A is being deployed with our tanks. Hang on, maybe we have to press the outcome button. Oh dear. Outcome? Wait. No, surely not. Oh my god, my tanks are actually in the battle. Where are they? Where are my little babies that I've designed? Yeah, look at them. Look at them deploying off to war. Yeah, so many machine guns. Yep, they see. That's definitely a tank. Yep, you shot at me. And I didn't care, because I'm a tank. Why are we fighting? 
<laughs> we both have machine guns. I like that not only are we not damaging each other, but we're not even hitting each other either. Like... Our tanks are just inaccurate as well as badly designed to fight other tanks. Yeah, see, look, it just missed again. Right, let's let's speed this up, shall we? Oh, oh god, okay. Round one, we have been ambushed because they detected us. Uh, the enemy has missed us and is running out of ammo. Very cool. Missed us, running out of ammo. Missed us, running out of ammo. Missed us, running out of ammo. The enemies lost no tanks. We lost no tanks. We repaired our tanks. We both left with all of our tanks. Very interesting. What a brilliant battle that was just fought. Oh dear. Okay, the basic stud goes up against an A7V, which has an actual cannon in it. Oh, there's one of the broken down tanks. Very nice. Glad to see that's happened again. My practically suicidal crew opens up on them with a Lewis gun. God, if it had just immediately destroyed the A7V, I would have lost my shit. Oh boy. Yep. Death. No, oh, wait, wait, it just recovered? Oh shit. Never mind. The basic stud, that's where it's at. One serious bit of feedback for this game is that I like, I quite enjoy the little like fun bits. I'll, I'll talk about this more at the end, but you really need to kind of have the ability to tell people that this tank is not for use against other tanks. Or at least, you know, like a chance that it's going to engage infantry instead where it will actually win, do its job. Because having it just fight tanks means it's either going to do nothing or it'll just get the shit kicked out of it like it's doing right now. And yet it continues to fight, which it shouldn't be doing. This tank is just the definition of doesn't know how to stay down. Oh no! That's job done. Overall, lost nine tanks. The enemy lost four somehow. Don't know how, but the enemy also repaired six. Wait, how did they lose four but repair? Did they steal our tanks? Well, the enemies ended the battle with 31 tanks. I ended it with one. Shit. I think that is where we're going to call it for this game. It's definitely interesting. It's also punishing as hell. I think... It needs a little bit of a rebalance, and it also needs a lot of quality of life stuff, but uh, I definitely would appreciate seeing my tank do its actual job as opposed to fight another tank with a cannon and just keep driving at it. The definition of, <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. All right, that's all for me for now. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, farewell.